hmm, something doesn't seem right. Yeah, Hickok 45 here. I think I discovered I put the wrong cartridge with the wrong gun. That goes there. This goes here. Pretty easy to see that, huh? We're not going to shoot that. Let's get that out of here. Yes, 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, the big boy. We're going to shoot it. We're going to talk about it. We're not just going to shoot watermelons, as you might have seen. We're going to show and tell, take a look at this baby, and uh, give you our impressions of it. Let's know what I think, whether or not it has broken my wrist yet, and all of that sort of thing. It's a rather large gun, to say the least. It is 50 caliber, and you know what? There's a 50 BMG round, just to prove it. Yep, 50 caliber. <laughs> that's what it is. Pretty good fit. So, that's what 500 means. Remember the caliber video I did? Most of you know that. Some of you might not. 50 caliber, 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum means it's a 50 caliber. This is the X-Frame. This came out in about 03. I think it was introduced at the SHOT Show in 2003. And it has been around. It has. You have seen it in gun shops. You might have even fired it. You might own one. You might be thinking about one. I know a lot of people are thinking about one. Because, you know, if you're a gunny, you like to shoot, you have a few guns, you like big guns, don't tell me you haven't considered it. You haven't looked at it <laughs> and maybe fondled it in a shop somewhere and thought, hmm, should I or shouldn't I? It's pretty expensive and very powerful. I wonder how it feels. I wonder if I need one of those or if I'd like one. So I know we've all gone through that probably. But... Let's take a couple shots with it and uh, let's see what we think. Now, I don't know how many shots I'll be able to take. Let me get a couple of rounds here. I'll actually, I like big and I'll put five in. How's that? Like I'm going to shoot five. Okay, I don't know how many rounds my wrist will handle here. My brain. That one in there. Another one last torpedo. <laughs> And let me see if I can get my ears on tight enough. Get my shoes pulled up tight, my belt tight. Mm, my brain anchored down. And let's just take a couple of shots. All right, 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, 400 grain Magtex. What should we start with? We have four or five targets we're gonna shoot. Let's start with something like a water two liter a bottle. <clears throat> My guess is it will pierce it. <laughs> you see me about to shoot that with one hand? Okay, get tough. <laughs> Ouch! It did pierce it. Hey, I'll see a couple more. I guess I'm not going to hit any steel back there. Woo. Well, that was three shots, and I'm still alive. Not bad. Big 500s. Oh, man, what else do we have? You know what we could go ahead and do? We have an old textbook, about 25 years old here. It's, uh, it has like 2,200, 2,300 pages in it. It's an old, out-of-date uh, medical textbook. I thought we might just put one into that thing rather than throw it away. So we put a target on the front. I'm going to try to hit it somewhere in the middle of that. Uh, not sure whether it shoots high or low or where exactly, but we're just going to do it for, for kicks here. Definitely for kicks with this thing. Whoa! Almost got a bullseye. <laughs> well, let me just open it up there since I've got one left. Well, I'm not believing that. Maybe the sight's right on. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna send a thousand dollars to the person who can guess which page that round stopped on. Okay. Actually, we're not. But see if you can guess. What do you think? Page ten, page three hundred, page one thousand. Well, let's just look at the back and see Ooh, it didn't make it all the way through did it let's take it up to the shooting table i still have this gun open here i'm not 
being unsafe or meaning to be. Definitely put it one hole in the front. We have one round left. So it was laying there. Let's do a little research. You ever shoot a book this big? Da, da, da. Da, da. Ooh, wow. Okay. Through page 865. Well, it looks like we're at around 1485. Yeah, look at there. 1485. Ooh, it's still warm. Jacket. Ouch. It's hot. Yeah, it's uh, clearly through there. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I went further, didn't it? That's just part of it. This is one of those judgment calls. Yep. I'm going to find some more lead here. There's a little piece. So, felt like, yeah, there's a little more lead. Yeah, this is one of those where I could, uh, I could uh, twist the findings, you know. So it looks like the last page that's ripped at all. That's how we would have to judge. We'd have had to make the rules up before we started the game. Around 21, 22, yeah, about through 2,121 pages. Yeah, so. So that's something probably a lot of people have wanted to know. You know, how many pages would a 500 S&W uh, penetrate or at least pierce? That's the last one I think that's, that's actually ripped a little bit. So, all right, so that's pretty useful information. You know, really people need to know that. That's very, very useful information, okay? You know, I mean, where else are you gonna get information like that's what I wanna know. Where else are you gonna find a fool that would shoot a gun like this, all right? Risk his wrist and his mental capabilities, such as they are. So there's the four empties, and there's one left. All right, so get rid of some of the perspiration. Since it's only about 98 degrees today, good day to shoot a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. So that is some cartridge, isn't it? I mean, that is, uh, <laughs> that is a beautiful thing. That's the, again, the MagTech 400 grain. Well, this is uh, an HSM. Picked these up at Cabela's on the way back from Pittsburgh. 500, uh, yeah, Smith & Wesson, 350 grain, jacket hollow point. This is the round we shot into the uh, watermelons. You know, I don't think it would have made any difference, but we just thought we'd, we'd shoot these since they were hollow point. And uh, they were a little bit lighter, uh, 50 grains lighter. You know, maybe more velocity. You know, I don't know. When you're trying to blow things up and get a reaction, sometimes velocity is more important than weight. It's a weird formula for that, so who knows? Wow, those are powerful. All right, now again, uh, <clears throat> talked about this in the radio show a little bit. Uh, this gun is not for the faint of heart, but then again, it's not going to break your wrist. You know, I'm not Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't lift weights and all that kind of thing. It, uh, I could shoot it, and I'm going to shoot it some more. It does hurt your hand. It, it comes back against your hand, like right there, it hurts. It doesn't hurt my wrist. It hurt my arm, but it just really hits hard right there. If it had a really nicely padded uh, grip, I think it would go a long way towards being able to shoot it maybe, you know, 50 times. You know, the recoil knocking you, you around doesn't hurt you, but it's that sudden uh, burst right against your, your uh, palm that hurts a little bit. All right? And also, even though it has a long barrel, I don't know that I could do a lot of fancy marksmanship with it, you know. Uh, one of the things that, you know, John and I were talking about is how, you know, you can take a 22 pistol and you feel like you can just drive nails with it or a little light 38 special uh, that's, oh, it's just the most accurate gun I own, 38 special. A lot of that is just the fact that you're not getting uh, much recoil and not a lot of blast. You know, no matter how much we shoot, that affects us. And my 44 Magnum might be even more accurate than a 22 or a 38 special, but I can probably actually hit better with a 38 special. You know, it's just, it's just one of those things. When you know not, not much is gonna happen, and it trigger break, it's just easier to hold it on there. Well, this gun should be really pretty accurate, right? With that long barrel and everything, and good sights. But it, it's gonna be a challenge, I think, uh, to try it longer, longer range. It doesn't mean it's easier to shoot because it is so powerful and has such a blast. So, anyway, it is the X-Frame. I'm going to shoot some more. Uh, been around for, what, about seven or eight years. Uh, you see them in different barrel lengths. And now they, they have them in all kinds of wild, uh, uh, there's a 10-inch barrel, there's a, what, a four or five-inch barrel. 
there's one that's like two or something and it comes in a it's like a, a bear protection case and all with an orange handle and all that kind of thing so there are lots of different configurations of it boy i'd hate to shoot that two inch barrel oh that would be murder and you can also buy ammunition uh there's a couple of companies i think corbon's one of them, maybe winchester that loads a special which is a shorter case i guess lighter load uh you know so there there's more out there for it and a lot of people i guess that shoot it a great deal hand load for it so they're not shooting these hot factory loads all the time so let's take a few more shots i uh, say a few i don't know how many a few will be all right what i want to do i'm going to try to see if i can hit the gong with it problem is i don't want to spend a lot of shots figuring out where to hold so we'll see hopefully I can tell where it's going he's gonna be hard on the gong but I, I'd like to hit it once all right I'm gonna hold on the bottom of it Let's see where it goes so if you miss high you just don't see anything <laughs> okay looks like it hit high I was holding right low. <laughs> oh, it knocks it around, shakes the whole post. Doesn't take long to get there either. What am I doing shooting this thing so fast? It hurts. Ouch. Need a break. That is crazy. That is crazy. Let's try it one more. It's only 250 per shot. All right, I was trying to get one over there in the center. Oh man, there's another live one in there. Let's save it. Oh boy, that is hot. I tell you what, it really hits you hard, but it. Uh, doesn't break your wrist or anything. It just kicks hard. It just kicks hard. Uh, let me show you a little contrast while I'm giving my wrist a rest. Here's a little J-frame. How's that? <laughs> hard to believe they're in the same family. J-frame, Smith & Wesson versus <laughs> X-frame. Wow. Slight difference there. And in the chambering and and everything and in the weight i think this is a little lighter that's a 642 uh, this gun weighs less than i would say the cylinder on this one so kind of an interesting gun these uh, are obviously are designed for hunting primarily i guess uh, you'd really before you'd buy something like this and plan to hunt with it you, i think you'd really want to test yourself to uh you know make sure you can shoot a big gun like this and not flinch like crazy and that you know you're gonna get something out of it uh, be ready to practice with it it's 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 not an easy task it's a it's a bit of a struggle for me and I shoot a lot of handguns and I shoot powerful handguns but uh, it's it's kind of neat a lot of people have them just kind of as a novelty have something really powerful to play with and uh, you know can't blame people for that shooting is a fun sport and I have some interesting guns, some goofy guns, things that uh, don't have a lot of practical value maybe, but are just fun to shoot. So let's see if my wrist is okay here. All right, I think I've, I'm, I'm close to recovered here. Of course, we know we can't get this thing out without a little wall shooting, right? Got to have a little wall action. So let's take a few shots at the cinder block wall here. That had to be part of it. Can't do a 500 Smith & Wesson video without some cinder blocks. All right, let's tear down this wall. I wouldn't flinch with this gun, would I? We might need some more ammunition. Hey, I shot five at once. I'm gonna load those big bruisers. 
put some more in. I have them in my pocket all ready to go. Oh yeah. Whew, talk about power. Power in a handgun. Let's see what we can do with a couple more rounds. All right, these are cheap. We'll shoot all we can, right? Five more big ones. I think that just about did it. I could use one more hit though, couldn't I? Let's just do it. Let's do it right. Let's do it right. All right. These mag techs, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Don't, don't need hollow points for this though. See if I have more in my pocket. No. Got some more over here, I think. Yeah. You know, while I'm uh, recovering my wrist here a little bit, I, did, I was going to show you the Model 29, uh, you know, the difference. We've always thought this as being a big gun, and it is a big gun, my uh, Model 29. This was uh, the one I got in 1974, and of course this is the Dirty Harry Special, the most powerful handgun in the world at the time, you know. But uh, it has been usurped. Look at the difference in <laughs> the cylinder. <laughs> Wow, yeah, quite a, I think I have a 44 Magnum round, looks like a little baby round, yeah, that's a 44 Magnum, look at the difference, wow, sorry Clint, sorry about that bud, but uh, change has come, so 44 Magnum is powerful, and it's plenty powerful for, for most people, including myself, to tell you the truth, you get a hot 44, and you've got a handful. Oh, man, 500 Smith & Wesson, more than a handful. So, but, you know, we just have to shoot it. So, let's take a couple more shots. That'll do it. Put one more on the gong. Well, I thought I hit it. Maybe I didn't. There we go. I definitely got it. Woo! And of course, you see what we have. To wrap things up with here, another vegetable, melon. And I am not taking a shower this time. <laughs> I am going to back up a little bit. All right. <laughs> that was our last melon. We thought it'd uh, be a good place to finish it off. Okay. 50 or 500 Smith and Wesson 50 caliber those empties out of there well I don't know how many I shot you can count but uh, again it, it hurts but I don't feel as though uh oh oh I shouldn't be doing this or you know it's actually hurting my wrist it, uh, it does come back really hard but uh, it, it's controllable and it's really good training for a flinch. I'll tell you what, if you can squeeze one of these things off, because it has a really light trigger. Let me tell you that about the gun, too. It has a very nice trigger. I mean, ironically, it's, it's like a fine target trigger. And, you know, Smith & Wesson is, is known for that. Just a beautiful single-action trigger. So it, it's a beaut. And I don't think I told you, uh, a, a viewer uh, notified me, contacted me, over a month ago 
and said he had one of these, lives in the Nashville area, and wanted to know if I wanted to borrow it to, to review and to shoot. And so I said, yeah, sure, why not, you know? And, and so I've known for quite a while now that uh, we'd be doing this, and I picked up this ammo on the way back from uh, Pittsburgh. We stopped at a, a Cabela's, found a box, and uh, found some couple others here recently uh, locally. So we knew we'd be doing this, so I've been uh, <clears throat> getting my wrist ready. But I uh, appreciate the, the loan of this gun to bring it to you all. Because I don't know if I would be interested in buying one. You know, I don't know. After I shoot it, I'll, I'll know a little bit more. At least I'm not afraid of it now. I have fired one enough to, to have a pretty good feel for, for what it does, what it will do, and how much it's going to hurt and all that sort of thing. But uh, very, very interesting piece of hardware. And, and again, I do appreciate the, the loan of this gun by one of our loyal viewers just like you all so uh we're gonna take good care of it and uh get it back to him in one piece i don't know that you can hurt it <laughs> if firing these things <laughs> don't hurt it i'm not sure what could wow so uh 500 smith and wesson magnum uh glad to be able to to bring you one and it's been kind of fun to shoot it so uh, we're going to shoot a little bit more but uh quite a piece of hardware big old x frame I, you know, I don't even know what to say about it. It's, it's just such a, a monstrosity and such a, a large gun, shoots such a large bullet cartridge that it's, it's almost laughable. Every time I open that box of ammo, I want to laugh, you know. But it's real, and, you know, it actually shoots, and it seems to be accurate. So it's a real gun, and there are lots of different applications for it, and probably what happens with most of them are they get... Uh, little time shooting bottles and bricks and the kinds of things we do but anyway 500 smith and wesson uh x frame thought you might enjoy seeing that thing shot and i think life is still good <laughs>